you want to sell digital stickers on Etsy or your own shop and you have your stickers ready to go, but you don't know quite how to get them to your customer or you don't know how to make them available to them for them to be able to copy, paste and resize and use them on their own apps. So I'm going to show you from start to finish what do you need, what apps does your customer need, and how to put it all together in a beautiful sticker book that looks, let me show you, kind of like this, something that I created on Keynote. And yeah, so let's get started. What I'm going to show you is how to put your digital stickers inside a digital sticker book that you will deliver to your customer. So let's go back to step number one. Step number one is you're going to need stickers. And these stickers right here, I got them from here. These are sticker sheets that come with the Canva planner templates available in my shop. And if you already know me, this is probably where you got them from. I will share a link to this so you can go and take a look. And if you scroll down, you'll see here it comes with four pages of stickers um, that you can use either for printables or to sell as digital stickers as well. So if you wanted to take a look, I'll share that link. But for now, let's go back to here. We have four sheets of stickers and I randomly selected a few and I put them in a different Canva file. These, let me go back to the normal. So these are, I think it's 200, let me click here. Yeah, 300 by 300 pixels, each of one of these pages. That's what it is. And I, I literally just copy pasted, copied from here and pasted here to have just a few of these stickers just for the sake of demonstration for this video so you could see what I'm doing. So now that I have them here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export these stickers. But before, let me show you what I'm using. I'm using GoodNotes, the app GoodNotes for the iPad. This one works only on Apple devices. And I'm also going to use NoteShelf. And NoteShelf will work for Android as well as an Apple device. This has become my favorite and I am a diehard GoodNotes fan, but let me tell you, NoteShelf has won my heart over because you can stack your stickers and kind of in, in layers. So you can put one sticker on top of the other and you can control that. So yeah, this has become one of my favorite, probably my, my top app when it comes to digital planning and creating things like digital scrapbooking, but I'm going to make a whole other video for that. Let, let's just focus on this video and how to get the stickers in a note shelf file. So yeah, you're gonna need either one of those. There's many others, there's Zoom notes, there's a few others, but I only work with these two, so I can only speak for these two, and that's what I'm going to be using in this video. So let's go back to the stickers right here. Okay, so my file is ready, and I'm working on a Mac, if that helps you visualize what I'm doing. So I'm going to download all the way to three, transparent background, and I want PNGs, transparent background all the way to three. And I'm going to download all 10 pages. So I'm going to download, export from Canva, and I'm saving it to my computer right now. There it is, it's gonna open a zip file. I'm going to open it. Let me put this here. Let's click, and there it is. I'm gonna open one just to make sure that yes, the background is transparent. How do I move this? I just want to move this. There we go. So yeah, the background is transparent, which is exactly what I want. Now from here, I'm going to save these stickers in my photo app. So let me go ahead and put this here. Open my photo app here on my computer. I'm going to select 
all of these stickers and then see if that works and drag them here. Okay, it should, there it is. Okay, so now they are in my photo app and because I have an iPad I on, on an iPhone, I can see these um, stickers on both devices. So now I'm going to go ahead and close this. They're still saved on my computer though. I'm gonna need that too. So now that my stickers are taken care of, what I'm going to do is work on my sticker book. And this is just a simple sticker book that I created inside of Keynote. Actually, I created it on PowerPoint and then I opened it on Keynote, which is what I have open here right now. And it's a simple three page. Let me make this a little bit bigger, maybe 150. Okay, a sticker book that I designed is just a bunch of shapes. These rings, I got them from Etsy. It's nothing complicated. I have another video where I show you, then I'm going to link where I show you how to create a digital, a very simple digital planner. So I'm gonna link that if you want to see how I created this. But anyway, <laughs> this right here, slide number one would be my cover. And of course I would decorate this really pretty. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I would decorate this to say something like sticker book or, you know, whatever you want. Then a second slide is the index. And here's where I would put hyperlinked, meaning clickable buttons that will take people to the different pages. But for this one, I'm gonna keep it very simple just for this video. And slide number three, is the actual page where I'm going to put the stickers. So keeping that in mind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this file, this design as a PDF from Keynote. So I'm going to do that. It's kind of out of the shot, but what I'm going to do, export to PDF. Next, and this process just depends what you're using. So sticker board, copy, I want to put that on my desktop. Um, and I'm going to put here sticker book demo, just so I know which one it is. Export, I'm saving it to my desktop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the app GoodNotes and I'm going to open my finder. Here's my sticker book. I'm going to drag it here. And there's many ways for you to, wait, done. <laughs> okay, there's many ways for you to import a PDF into GoodNotes, but I just like, because I'm on my computer, I'm using the computer GoodNotes app. I'm just dragging that file, I think you can do the same thing on your iPad, but for now, this is what it is. Okay, so I have it here, and keep in mind, this is nothing other than a PDF that I exported from Keynote. That's all it is, it's a PDF, that's it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start dragging the stickers here. I want them on page number three, I'm going to start um, putting the stickers on here. Now, the layout of your stickers is going to depend on whatever you want. Now, what I would recommend, if you've never done this, go to Etsy and put digital stickers in the search bar. This is literally what I just did right here, digital stickers, and see what comes up. This is what came up to me. I'm scrolling down and I'm taking a look to see what people are doing, what do their sticker spreads look like? And it looks so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to click on a random one. Let me see this one because this looks huge. So let me click on this one. And as you can see, this is how, let me look for a specific page. I don't think she has a specific page, but here on the cover, she has created like a sticker sheet that is digital and she mixed and matched different stickers on each sheet. Now a sticker book is if you're including multiple pages. And for this particular video, I just want to do one page. Where is, good notes, there it is. 
I'm only doing one page. So you might not need a full blown sticker book with multiple pages. You might just want to do one sheet and that's totally fine. But I wanted to show you that you have the option of an actual sticker book. So what we want to do now is to drag those stickers into our good notes file so i'm on this slide which is the one that i want to use and if you're on your computer like me you have two options you can drag from your folders which is this right here is just my computer folders you can drag from there let me make this like this okay you can drag from here literally just grab a sticker drag it in here that's it, that's all you need to do. Then you move it, you can go ahead and resize, make it as tiny as you want, as big as you want, you can go like this, whatever you want. So that's what you wanna do, you wanna start dragging it here. I'm gonna keep them about this big, and this is just all about you, all about whatever you want to do, and then I'm going to start dragging all of these stickers and sizing them to kind of what I want them to look like to create a good looking spread. So this is me dragging it from my folders. Another thing you can do since we save them, see this one is a tag, this one should be a little bit bigger than the others. You know, these are just thinking process that you can do. Another thing that you can do is drag them from your photo app, which, uh, which is here, and it's the same thing. Grab it, drop it, oh, but wait, oh. See what happens? Hmm, strange. Anyway, I have a background. See, I have a background for this one. That is so strange. This has never happened before. But anyway, let me see if, it's, if it was me. I made a mistake. But anyway, another thing you can do in here, uh, this is a great example. I'm going to crop it. You can quickly crop your stickers inside of Good Notes. Uh, I'm trying to make it as tight as possible, but right there, okay. Let's click done and that's it. So now, see, I don't have a background because I had just cropped it. I'm going to place it right here, that looks good. So quick update before we continue, I just checked on my iPad and when I drag from here, from my photos, it's fine on the iPad. There's no background to any of the stickers. Apparently, I'm just having trouble on the computer. So I'm going to, since I'm on the computer right now, I'm just going to continue dragging from my files, which seems to be working just fine. So that's what I'm going to do. As you can see, I'm just bringing it in. I'm resizing to whatever size I want. I'm placing it. Not in a cute way, like I wouldn't sell this. It doesn't look really cute, at least to me. So I would probably not sell this organized in this way. But you know, I'm just doing it for the video. This is something that I would take time to probably research a little bit more and think through what I want to do, so. Yeah, just, just keep that in mind, that you might want to keep it you know, as pretty as you want. And I think that's it. I think we have all the stickers in here. And once you have all the stickers in here and this is what you want to, you, you're happy with it, you are ready to sell it to your customer, all you need to do is you go over here with the three little dots are and you want to, oh, it's different on the computer. Anyway, <laughs> what you want to do is to export this right here. And I think I have to do it, I don't think you can see it, but since I'm on my computer, what I want to do is I click on file, which is here at the top and you can't see, I'm just realizing that now. But anyway, I'm clicking on file and I'm clicking on export. When I click on export, this is what pops up. And I want to export as a GoodNotes file. That is the most important thing, export as a GoodNotes file. Now this would only work on a GoodNotes app, obviously. So export as a GoodNotes file, click export. And we're gonna keep it like that, stick a book, demo, and we are going to save. And I, I'm just make sure that I want to use the .goodnotes extension. That's what you want, use GoodNotes. 
there we go and it should be saved on my desktop. So that file that we just exported from GoodNotes is what you want to deliver to your customer. I'm going to link this video in the description box, which is how to share a Google Drive folder that with your customer. That's how I, that's what I show you here, whether you're using Google Drive, which is free, or if you are using something like um, Dropbox. But this video will walk you through using Google Drive and sharing a folder specifically with your customer in order to deliver that GoodNotes file that we just created. I am on my iPad and I want to import here where I have saved it. Here it is, sticker book, demo. That should be the one. It opened. Let me scroll. There it is. So this is the one that I created on my computer. And what I want to do now is select the lasso tool and make sure that I can actually see. There it is. That I can actually do that if I copy this. I can come here and hold it down, paste, there we go. So now I can copy, paste, resize, do whatever I want with those stickers. If I put it here, let me see. And I'm going to write on it. See, I am writing on it as a sticker. So I come back here, grab my lasso tool, and this is what your customer would do or what you would do. I can cut it as well. See, if I do cut, it'll disappear, but I don't want to cut it. Your customer doesn't want to do that. You just want to copy it. That way the sticker stays there and literally you are just grabbing um, a copy of it. So your customer would go to their digital planner and paste what they need. And, you know, they can do whatever and they can write something they can draw on the sticker see i'm doing just whatever i want on top of those stickers and that's all they need to do they would go back here select with the lasso tool copy and go to their wait no go back and resize and do whatever they want and they can you know stack the stickers on top of each other as i just did right here let me make this a little bit bigger see so they can stack one sticker on top of the other as well so this has been good notes let's go to note shelf now i am in my ipad again and this is note shelf i have already imported that pdf sticker book that we created and i started working on it and this is something that i noticed this sticker right here let me select this this sticker right here this sticker right here and this one no actually this one right here i imported here by doing a split screen that i'm going to show you right now and i noticed that those stickers came in here see with a transparent background see how i'm moving this one and it has a transparent background but this one right here notice something it doesn't see it has that white background there it is there it is now this one i imported like this i clicked over here at the top photo library and i selected it from here let me import this one i'm going to show you done see it comes with that white background that we do not want so i don't know why it does this but just to show you do the split screen and if you i can't show you how to do a split screen because the screen will stop recording if i do the split screen but again here's a screenshot of what it looks like that's what it should look like uh, what I would do is drag and drop the same way we drag and drop on the computer when we were using GoodNotes. Drag and drop the stickers onto here. Let me delete this one because I didn't need it. And let me put this one here. And all I'm doing is using the lasso tool, which is this one right here at the top. That is what I'm doing, the lasso tool. So to draw a circle, to resize and all that. See, I can do this. 
and I'm just clicking on it. Let me click on this one. I'm just clicking on this one and then resizing and doing whatever I want. So I'm going to finish importing the stickers here in Noteshelf and I will come back. Let's say I'm done. This is what I want to deliver to my customer. This is where the customer purchases and see I have the all three pages. This is the page with the stickers. So what I need to do now is export this as a note shelf file because remember we want a note shelf file not a PDF. So your customer can go in when they receive this. They can open it. They can use the lasso tool to select something to copy, go to another page and paste over here paste and see there it is again they can manipulate this um any way they want so th that's what you want to deliver a note shelf file to them so all you need to do click over here at the top share we're going to share all pages then the format important again dot note shelf that's what we want to deliver to our customer so make sure that is checked off then you change the file name. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to click OK. Then share now. And you can save it to your iPad or to your Dropbox. And again, go watch that other um, video about putting it on a Google Drive, which is free. So you can share it to your customers. So you can do different things. Um, again, I'm just going to save it to files, desktop, save, and now I can see it also on my desktop computer. I hope this was helpful for you. I know it's a little bit on the longer side, but I wanted really to show you as fast as I could how to create a simple sticker book and deliver it to your customer. And one final note is if you're debating whether you want to provide a good notes file or a note shelf file, provide both. Listen, this is your business. <laughs> you do what you need to do. You want to make it as easy as possible for your customer to buy from you. You don't want buying from someone else. You buy them buying from you. You need to make it easy for your customer to purchase from you. So buy both apps if you can. They're around nine or $10 each and it's a one-time payment. So, you know, from business owner to business owner, buy both, create both and make both available to your customer. It will be worth it. I promise you it will be worth it. Invest in your business. So with that final note, I'm going to leave you. Go watch the other videos so you can kind of piece the, the pieces together. And I will see you in the next one.